Hey, hey, hey guys, it's always good to see you back on this YouTube channel and especially, and especially on this beautiful Saturday. So, and in today's episode, again, we are gonna have some uh, GPU mining rig um, testing, tweaking, you know, and I will show you some new um, BS, BS mod option, how you can BS mod graphics cards to increase even more performance, not just by copying uh, the timings 1500 and 1550 megahertz timings down below which usually increase the performance but there's a little bit more to it how can you uh, get even a one or two megahertz more uh, performance for um, for mining ethereum so yeah as you understood this video will be very interesting hit that like button now i want to get at least 500 likes on this video and i would thank you very much if uh, we would do that all together so what I have here is the um, two mining rigs which I'm going to be testing today. Um, one is closed case, a GPU mining rig, RX 57X100 XT. And the other one is, you know, um, Asus Trix RX 5700 X3 version graphics cards. You know, both of, both of these are uh, premium graphics cards. So I just want to show you here um, the models which I have. Uh, this one here is the uh, Asus Trix, uh, and the other ones in a closed case is the um, Gigabyte RX 6700 XT. So these are the two two models. Both of them are very good, three fan models, great cooling, great memory cooling. Um, of course, closed cases will be much better cooling than the uh, open air frame. Uh, but the benefits of using open air, fr open air frame is that there's a very little noise on them. You know, it's not as noisy as the uh, closed case. You know, they, they, the closed case is roughly 50 decibels. This is roughly 30. Even now, you can hear slightly. You know, this this is only on, and you can hear slightly. But if it if this case was on, you know, you would barely hear me uh, talking. Um, but you know, the other benefit you have if you have an inter industrial place, these are amazing for uh, cooling down the graphics cards and as you know the RX 5700 has the issues with the memory cooling um, most, of, most of the graphics cards so you can see that this rig here is running um, and it's hashing average 57 and a half mega hash per card and it uses um, it uses thousand one nearly the 1000 watts 1100 watts from the wall um, so yeah, roughly 150 watts, 140 watts per card um, from the wall. And this is what it's currently getting. Um, what else? Yeah, what I have been, you know, using for this mining rig build is seven cards. Um, total hash rate 402 mega hash. Uh, a power supply. It's a Chinese made 1800 watt ATX power supply. Um, but seems like they do a good job. It doesn't matter, you know, because they are quite cheap and you want uh, To you pay back your equipment for mining as fast as possible um, And you know, I haven't experienced much issues with them, you know It's I think it's also good to use of course They're not never gonna be the same quality as AVJ or Corsair uh, power supplies, but for mining I think it's fine, you know um, at least you know, I'm using these for last year or so and I have haven't had experienced, uh, you know too many faulty you know they are more faulty than the EVJs but you know haven't experienced too many uh, Biostar motherboard the GPU T, uh, T, uh, uh, TB250 BTC plus um, cheapest CPU cheapest RAM uh, cheapest SSD cheapest everything you know cheapest risers you know 009 I think these are zero or 007 version risers um, yeah some cooling fans at the back of the case uh, to uh, get some uh, more air into the graphics cards um, These graphics cards man, they, I think they are the longest I ever have seen, you know, they don't even fit in this case, you know um, Usually the fans come here inside uh, But you know, I ha we had to put the fans outside uh, to get this case working So yeah Let's now I think go like this case is exactly you know, there's nothing new, you know, it has high efficiency cooling fans uh, riserless motherboard, a 1800 watt power supply on this uh, case, or 1650 on this, I think it's 1650, yeah. Um, links, links will be in the description if you want to check them out. Um, 
Otherwise, yeah, let's go to screen share. I will show you the secret sauce BIOS mod, which will help you to increase uh, mining, for mining performance on this hardware. So these are the two rigs I just showed you a minute ago. I have these, the Gigabyte um, RX5700 in a closed case here. Um, just started testing this rig recently. And this is the Asus Trix. Uh, RX 5700 XT uh, GPU mining 7 GPU open air frame you can see it's rock stable it has been tested for last uh, last day and it was running no issues at all so I want to go into details you know and we'll show this rig I just started the tweaking this morning I wanted to see what's the best performance I could get from these so you can see there's some cards running at 58 megahertz some 58 and a half 58 and a half. I'm not sure how long stable is going to be um, running at these settings. Uh, it might work, but seems you know for the last last half an hour it's working just fine and there is no issues. But it's got two invalid shares. So I want to speak about this rig because I one card is without the special tweaking uh, BS mod um, secret sauce. What what we can call it. <laughs> um, so. These all the cards has all of them has uh, the 1500 megahertz trap, which is increases increases the mining performance, right? Um, so all of them except the first, oh, the, the all of them has, but the first one doesn't have the secret sauce tweaking. Oh, so you can see it, it has one megahertz less than the card next to it, but it also has the same timings as the card next to it. It's also the same. You can see it has the same BIOS number, uh, so it's. A, exactly the same card it has micro memory also and it's asus Trix exact model so um i will show you now how to get this one extra mega hash um on this graphics card what kind of other setting in bios mod you have to apply to increase the performance and i'm sure there is also more tweaking which is possible to increase even more the graphics card performance than uh, currently um so um so i have the bios editor okay let's download the, the bios from from here um if you haven't used the hive os you know to download bios you can just need to go to overclocking then uh download bios from the gpu and choose the gpu bios so the first one it doesn't have the it does not have the uh, the special secret sauce tweak and the second one has has so i just want to show you to compare um um to compare you know um, the differences between the two biases of course <laughs> if, you, if, the, if that is what you want to see if not just uh, so here's the first bias uh, from the uh, from this graphics cards here you see number one and zero number two so let's download first the zero bias save and download also the other one save so let's take the red BIOS editor now, um, load the BIOS, so the GPU 0 is the one uh, which is, doesn't have the secret sauce on it. Um, so you can see the timings uh, all exactly the same. And there's no difference. What I'm actually going to do to increase the performance is, you see the DRAM timing 12 here? You know, it stays in 2800, 2, 2850. It depends on some of the cars, it says 2900. So I'm actually editing this to 5900, 990. I, I was editing. And this increases the performance on the GPU. I was going up to 9000, but that didn't increase any more performance. I did, couldn't notice. Uh, but increasing this timing uh, does increase the performance. And you have to do. You have to do this in every, uh, you know, in 1800 megahertz and every down below. If you change this only in one, there won't be any, any performance increase. So you can see that I'm lo loading the, the other, the GP1, which has this already. I'll show you just now. So you can see that it has here already edited. So you can see on 1800, it also has edited. So you can see on 2000, it also has. And on on uh, on the last timings it also does have this kind of uh, setting so I just want to flash the BIOS on the first graphics card I just want to show you it. so I flash with the second graphics card BIOS um, number zero for flashing upload 
Okay, and that graphics card will now also reach the performance of the rest of these graphics cards. You can see that I have all this, all the graphics cards has exactly the same memory overclock. They have exactly the same core overclock. You see, they have the uh, VDDCI. Uh, you know, the voltages are the same. Um, you know, everything exactly the same on all of the graphics cards. And but what one, but for performance on one graphics card is a little bit lower. So this. BIOS tweaking does increase slightly more performance, you know, for one mega hash, one and a half on some cards. Um, and what does that mean? You know, some of the cards, you know, you cannot uh, do as high memory overclock. They don't, you know, you have already increased them to the maximum. You know, they start crashing when you reach higher, uh, when you insert higher old memory overclocks on the graphics card. And this is what it does, you know, by simply not changing overclocks on the graphics cards, um, by not changing, uh, you know, overclocks on the graphics card, it increases mining performance. I haven't noticed any changes on the power usage. That if there's more power or not, uh, power usage stays the, stays the same. Um, what I noticed is that if I had uh, very high voltages, the um, I couldn't reach the same performance. Um, as soon as I lowered the the voltage, you know, core voltage is at 760, and the MVDD at uh, 1280. Um, the performance was very good and stable, and I, I got this performance. So, how to easy configure uh, the graphics cards in Hive OS? It's very simple. Um, if you know what you're doing, so. You know, to tweaking RX 5700s is it's sometimes very hard. You know, and you know. The easiest way is you get an, you know, to get maximum performance, there is, you know, the, the, the GPUs will be crashing if you overclock them too much. But when they crash, there will be, a, a, you know, um, show up an error message, for example, Phoenix Miner reboot. And you just click on the error message and it will show you the last, you know, the last log file before the uh, miner switched off. And you can see that. You know, one of the GPUs probably will have zero hash rate, and you know which hash rate is that already, you know, which is causing issues, you know. Then you just go to the, you know, for example, you see GPU 1, which is the GPU 0, uh, what had zero hash rate, you just click overclock, you reduce the memory, you know, for slightly, you reduce the, uh, um, the uh, core voltage, uh, you increase the, uh, sorry, the, the core clock, you increase the core voltage, and that probably will increase the stability of this graphics card. You know, if it crashes again, reduce a little bit more. You know, some cards are better than the other ones. You know, for example, you know, I've been using Asus Dual on the one rig, you know, and one card just keep crashing, you know, all the time. It starts mining, you know, it's mining for a minute or so and crashing, you know, and I'm reducing and reducing and reducing, uh, reducing the memory overclock until I had to reduce to 820 megahertz to actually get this card working, you know, non-stop. You know, sometimes the, the, the quality of the card isn't that good, so this causes these performance issues. Um, so yeah, we have rebooted now this mining. This card is flashed, so 56 and a half. Let's restart and see. You can see that performance is going up, 57.27. It will go the same speed as these 54, 57 and a half uh, mega hash. So yeah, this was the tweak I have figured out. I'm sure there's more, more to it, maybe more other timings to edit, which will probably um, increase the, the performance. But this is what I'm currently will be using on my BS modding. Uh, you know, one mega hash. You know, it's not much, but it's uh, you know better than than nothing. <laughs> I'm very curious also about the 3080s. Um, I haven't tested them yet. You know, I haven't been chance to get these anywhere. You know, all the shops are sold out. You know, it's a, it's a worldwide issue to get these cars. You know, I want to get them tested. Um, they seem like if you can get them at a good price, you know, 600 euro range, they they could be about the same uh, price per hash as the RX 5700s, and you know, a little bit maybe better uh, wattage on the graphics card. Uh, maybe not. Maybe around the same 250 watts for 100 mega hash. Yeah, it could be around the same as the RX 5700. But it means you know one card could take up less space in the rig. You know one card, or you put two cards. You know. Yeah, but the biggest issue is there's there's no availability, and this probably the, which 
because there is no availability this could probably increase the price in the future also i'm very excited about the rx uh, 6000 series uh, amd cards uh, i want to test this also and see what the performance will be uh, for mining so one more thing about the uh, a challenge we have about the ethereum challenge 10 ethereum uh, wallet you have to guess the wallet seed phrase to access and get these funds transferred somewhere else um, so the keyword number four is it is a uh, plant-based food um, which body can't break down and it's also you know supposed to be very good for you uh, for digesting so yeah that's it for today um, comment down below what kind of hash rates you're getting what kind of bios modding are you using are you aware have you been aware of this uh, bios timing you know the the dram timing uh, editing um, to increase more more performance um, i hope you enjoyed this episode hit that like button again and again and again and share with your buddies if you found value um, otherwise i'll see you guys on the next video goodbye 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 Da na 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 Mine hardcore or don't mine at all.